wonder why when you spend so much time doing your makeup, it doesn't last? Recently, I posted a survey on Facebook and I asked you guys what you want to see if, um, and if you wanted to see how to turn a simple daytime look into an evening smoky glam um, look or if you want to see how to maintain your makeup look all day long. And the survey results are in and bum bum bum. <laughs> we want to see how to make your makeup look last. So the biggest thing that you want to start with is a primer and I'm going to use this Becca primer that I just picked up. Um, it's in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty um, and they had a sale on it the other day. So I love my other Becca primers and I thought why not try this one. So this one is to be a Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector and when you open it up, it comes in a squeeze tube. And so I'm gonna start off with about that much and work it on my hands and press it into my face. Primer is an important step because it will help you um, even your complexion and it will help your foundation or whatever other products you're putting on stick and stay in place. Next up, you're going to want to apply your foundation. So today I'm gonna to use the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, and this is the hydrating foundation. Um, I like this. I know that this foundation has mixed reviews, um, but especially if I'm gonna use something that's a mattifying primer, um, I wanna use this one to get a little bit more hydration. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. Now this is looking beautiful. Another new product I want to try is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Um, this has been all over YouTube lately and it retails for five dollars. Um, it is to be comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape um, and it's supposed to give a lot of coverage um, that lasts and it's also to blend easy. So I'm just going to take my concealer and apply it to areas of my face that I want to brighten. Uh, this is in the shade light peach and just want to kind of even this out and I also I'm going to cover these breakout areas that I have going on right now with my skin. Okay. So now that I look like this and I'm lovely, I'm going to go ahead and try to even out my skin tone. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. Beauty Blender that I just recently purchased. Um, I believe this was only $3 and I found it at a local Rite Aid. Um, I can link this below too, but so far it's been a nice little sponge to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this in. So far, I really like the combination of these two together. So um, once you have your foundation on and your concealer and you've primed, the next thing you want to do is apply a setting powder. So um, we're also going to use today <laughs> the new Jeffree Star brushes that are available at Ulta. Um, Jeffree Star did a collaboration with Morphe and actually is selling these in the Ulta stores right now. Um, they are super cute. Comes in this cute little pink bag, which I can't wait to use. I've had it for a little bit, but I wanted to wait until I was filming to check it out and use the brushes. So, um, comes this little liner to keep it from smashing whenever you're carrying it. And then it comes with these brushes. Um, and the eyebrow brush is also pink with a little spoolie and the angled brush. Um, so we're going to use these today as we film and see how that goes. So um, I'm going to take some of the setting powder 
and I'm just going to tap it into the lid. And this is the number seven setting powder and it's in perfect light and it's a translucent setting powder. Um, so we're going to check that out and I'm going to use this powder brush. Um, it has a nice angle on it and figured I would check it out today and see. So just grab a decent amount of powder on the end of my brush and then I'm going to take that right in under my eye and set the concealer and foundation that I placed here earlier. And I'm setting under the eye um, to prevent creasing throughout the day and to keep everything looking good there. So once I have that set under the eye, I'm just gonna take a little bit more setting powder and I'm just going to go all over my face and just do a light layer of the powder everywhere else. If you have areas that typically crease, um, this is where you're gonna wanna pack the powder on a little bit heavier. So I'm probably gonna go out here, the corner of my eyes, where I'm starting to get a little bit of wrinkles. At my mouth right here, sometimes there's little wrinkles there. And then just, you know, corners of my nose, typical. Okay. So now that that is set with powder, then I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my face on. So um, in this step, I'm going to go ahead and use my bronzer and my blush um, and do my highlighter and my eyes. And I will be right back. So now that all this is on, um, we're going to do the third step and the most important step of how to maintain your look all day long. So the first step was the primer. Um, the second step was the setting powder. And the third step is going to be a setting spray. And um, this is the brand new Anastasia Dewy Set um, setting spray. And I've been using this recently. I love it. It smells a little bit like vanilla and coconut. Um, and it gives me more of a dewy look on my skin instead of it being so mattifying. So the mattifying primer helps me give a poreless look on my face or it helps to soften or blur the large pores that I have in this area of my face. Um, this will help me to make it look fresh and make it look more natural instead of looking so matte. So the reason this is so important is it will take your highlighter, your bronzer, your foundation, and your setting powder, and it just kind of melts everything together. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give myself a couple of sprays of this. And once you have that sprayed on, then you want to take your beauty blender from earlier and just give yourself some quick taps and lock everything into place. All right, so once this is done, then I quickly just throw on whatever lipstick I wanna wear. Um, today I'm gonna use the Rosewood, um, and this is a gel lipstick with a little bit of a shimmer to it. And it's by Mary Kay. I love the shade of it. I feel like it's such a beautifully natural shade. But because I don't typically only wear a lipstick um, for the consistency, I'm going to apply some of the Fenty Beauty um, gloss balm over it. And this is Fenty Glow is the shade here, and it is just beautiful. And with that, the look is complete. So I will be checking in with you guys um, later on throughout the day to show you how this is keeping and if it is set the way that um, 
that I'm hoping that it will be. Um, and so you can get a better idea of how this look will progress throughout the day. Um, it is currently 2.11 and we are going to go see Captain Marvel. Cannot wait. And um, anyway, just going to carry on with the weekend. So I will see you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Okay. So I got to keep this short, sweet, and to the point. We are here at the movie theater and want to just take a quick second so you can see this look in natural daylight. And we are getting ready to go in and see Captain Marvel. So I will check in with you all after the movie. It is currently three o'clock. I am back at home. It's the end of the night. Um, it is currently 10.05 and I'm getting ready to take my makeup off and go to bed. But as you can see, it's held up pretty well. Um, the only spot is probably right here because I have a lot of dry skin and my skin's peeling right there. Um, other than that, it's held up pretty good. Um, so that's my tip for you. I would say the three things that you can do to really make your makeup last all day long is to find a good setting spray, um, a good setting powder, and some kind of good primer to use. Um, I'll list these in the description box below, um, but the best thing to do is just find what works for your skin type and then build your regimen from there. Um, so my recommendation is to find a primer that you love, a setting powder that works great that's the right tone, and some kind of setting spray um, that works for your skin type. Um, and that should carry you throughout the day and give you a look that will last. So um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. And again, thank you for watching and I hope that you all have a great day. Talk to you later.